Hey everybody, here in Golden Meadow, Louisiana on a beautiful breezy day in the middle of another parish mission. Uh, last week we were in Raceland, Louisiana and now we're a little further south down the Bayou as they say. And it's been a beautiful week. Uh, on Saturday we did uh, an event with youth leaders in the morning and then Saturday night we did an event with teenagers and then yesterday right over that way in a field we had mass and a family day and a few little games and a talk and then we shared lunch uh, with a bunch of families and then after that we prepared food with a bunch of volunteers and brought food to a bunch of shut-ins uh, in the area and I've been reflecting a lot in the past few months on on death. Uh, I've had two friends that are my age in the past two, two and a half months that have passed away. And this morning I went for a jog with two little ones, uh, a two-year-old and, and a one-year-old, and they were so full of life and joy and excitement and openness and innocence and vitality. And they were just enjoying life and exploring every little thing in the honesty of their hearts of just exploring and seeing things and finding all the little animals and there was cats and a dog and we found a goat and a bird and throwing rocks in the water and it was just pure joy and expressing the simple things in life that was so beautiful and I've been reflecting a lot on what if uh, it is the case that the Lord allows us to stay on this earth many times until we become more childlike remember Jesus said that unless you become as a little child you will not inherit the kingdom of God. What if it's his mercy that actually sometimes allows us to stay alive long enough until we again find the childlike nature that we once had when we were young? These children were just so pure of heart and they were so free and they were so able to love and relate things to uh, the people that they loved. And yesterday afternoon when I was spending some time bringing this food with my wife to the shut-ins, I went to a lady's house. I'm going to call her Miss Millie. Uh, that wasn't her name, but I'm going to call her Miss Millie, and she was barely able to walk, but she wasn't deathly ill. And uh, I went inside. She invited me into her house, and, and I put the food, you know, in the refrigerator for her, and we talked a little bit. She told me about her husband she had mar been married to for 66 years, uh, who had died last year. She's 83 years old. And she looked at me and she said, you know, I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. If, if when God's ready, I'm ready. And she was so forthright, even in this pandemic, as she longed for the Eucharist and she was asking, when are the people at the church going to again bring me communion? Because she's longing for that. And, and some of those things have had to stop for a while during the, the, the pandemic. And we had this good conversation. And then as I was getting ready to leave, she said, you know, before you leave, I want to tell you one more thing. She said, I, I don't never know what's going to happen next. And so whenever people come visit me, I make sure the last thing I get the last word as they're leaving. She said, I want to tell you one more thing. I love you. <laughs> and I walked out and was just amazed at this woman's simplicity of her faith and of her childlike nature. And this seems to be what happens. We've got this this uh, this bell curve in life that we start off as children with this childlike nature and then we become adults and we make things complicated and then at some point we start to come back down again and we have a movement towards childlike nature again where we trust where we are honest where we move into a space hopefully with our faith of not being afraid just as children aren't they trust in their father uh, and their mother and then of being able to say what we mean and mean what we say and to tell people that we know and that we love, I love you. And so my prayer for you today is wherever you are, you don't need to be on a mission trip to be able to be childlike, to be invited to take a step deeper in trust of the father, no matter how old you are. A lot of us maybe are 19 or 25 or 38 or 42 or 56, and we need to become more childlike, more simple in our faith, more able to say what we mean and mean what we say, to trust the Father and to say the most important words to Him and to those around us. I love you. May each of us grow in being childlike today. 
that we might grow deeper into the heart of the Father, more trusting and more ready to pass beyond the gates and beyond the grave to the everlasting life that is destined for each one of us when our bodies will no longer hold us in a space of mortality that is so limited, but we will follow Jesus who went to the grave and then resurrected. And one day we will have our resurrected bodies in heaven where we will enjoy eternity, constantly saying back and forth with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I love you and I love you too. And enjoying that as a community of saints. God bless y'all. See you next time.